Uh, tensions have escalated once again after Russia fired on and seized three Ukrainian naval vessels. A number of Ukrainian crew members were injured when Russian ships captured two gunboats and a tug. Each side is blaming the other for the incident, uh, with Moscow uh, saying that the captured boats had been trying to illegally enter Russian waters. Luke Barber has the latest. Tensions that have lingered on the Crimean Peninsula for the past four years have flared once again. According to Moscow, the captured Ukrainian boats had been carrying out provocative actions in closed Russian waters in the shared Sea of Azov. In response, Ukraine's president has proposed the imposition of martial law in what he called a defensive move during an emergency meeting of the country's military top brass. Martial law is introduced in order to strengthen Ukraine's defense capabilities amid increasing aggression and, according to international law, a cold act of aggression by the Russian Federation. However, speaking to Euronews just a few days ago, Russia's ambassador to the EU fervently denied the Kremlin was beefing up its military presence in the Sea of Azov. There is no militarization of the Azov Sea from Russia. There will not be and cannot be. Yes, the presence of the Coast Guard there is strengthened after construction of Kerch Bridge to Crimea, naturally. The rising hostilities are focused on the Kerch Strait, which connects the Sea of Azov with the Black Sea. It's where Russia has constructed a bridge to link Crimea with the Russian mainland. Despite a 2003 treaty which guarantees both countries free navigation in the Sea of Azov, Russia placed a cargo ship beneath the bridge to block the passage of Ukrainian vessels. Two ports on the sea's north shore are key to Ukrainian grain and steel exports. However, Russia has recently begun inspecting ships going to or from Ukrainian ports. <laughs> Kiev has denied its ships had done anything wrong. It has appealed to its allies to stand united against Russian aggression. Luke Barber, Euronews. Well, let's get the latest uh, on this uh, story with our correspondent Galina Polonskaya in Moscow now. Good morning to you, Galina. Uh, just last week, we had uh, Russian officials saying there was no militarization of the Sea of Azov going on. Is that still the Kremlin line now? Well, uh, that's how wars start, tweeted a very famous Russian TV presenter, also of various programs dedicated to life and work of Vladimir Putin. His name is Vladimir Solovyov and he is very important here in Russia. Maria Zakharova, the foreign ministry spokeswoman, uh, named this incident in the Azov Sea a pure provocation organized by gangsters, saying that first they provoke, after they use force and after they accuse of aggression. And Senator Alexei Pushkov said that this provocation was organized, was ordered by Mr. Poroshenko uh, because Mr. Poroshenko is lacking of votes ahead of the presidential elections which will take place in Ukraine next, the coming spring. Uh, now Russia is asking for an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council. It will take place later today and that it is clear that this incident is bringing the two countries to a new uh, edge of this conflict and Moscow, uh, as it has been doing during the last 10 years, will be saying that all of this is a pure provocation and that it was not Russia that has started all of that.